just going to be creating a or doing a quick tutorial over creating 3D text with a nice metallic look. This was by request from someone. The uh, video that that um, this was from uh, my shootout trailer here. Um, specifically, this final. Uh, uh, this final text right here. See, it has a nice metallic look with um, it's catching the light and having the reflections there. So we'll just go ahead and get started here in 3ds Max, and this is version 2010. But it doesn't really matter. In previous versions, it's uh, still the same. So uh, if we go over here to the Create tab. Um, and then select shapes under create shapes and then text can then click and drag and we create some nice text here and then over here on um, you have some options to modify it and you can uh, turn the size down and if you want to change the text I'll just say um, shoot out just the title for a short film we're working on and um, then we can with the text selected come over to the modify uh, panel and in this drop down select bevel um, and then we can see we're starting to get some depth and if we go down to the level one um, option under, under bevel values you can turn up the height to whatever looks good to you and then check level 2 set the height to something like 0.25 and the outline to negative 0.25 um, and that will give you some really nice um, edges uh, here which we will see in just a moment um, okay, the next step would just be to hit M and bring up our material editor. Uh, but before we do any texturing, go to render setup up here. That's the one of the teapot icons or rendering render setup. And scroll down to the bottom to assign renderer. And under this production um, tab, you can choose the renderer we want and we're going to want to use mental ray um, and then we can select that and close that and then here in the material editor um, we have this standard button and then choose arch and design and the reason we have to use mental ray is because the arch and design materials aren't available with the standard scan line render in 3ds max but anyways um, from this templates we have here um, which all look really nice um, but what we're going for is a, um, a metal look and the one I used for that trailer was the brushed metal template um, and then you have a lot of options here but I'm just gonna leave those all here but you can play around with those if you want drag that onto our text and if we do a quick render of this by checking that box. I'm actually going to go under the render setup and just change this to a larger size. And there we can see we have a nice metallic look. Um, might be kind of hard to see because we don't have very good lighting so I will just quickly create some lights just for the sake of demonstrating this I'm just gonna select the mental ray area Omni and go into the front viewport um, create a light and with W select the move tool holding shift I'm gonna drag it down on the y-axis which will create another light as an instance and with my angle snap toggle selected 
I will control select both of these, hit E for rotate, hold shift, rotate those 90 degrees to create two more instances, holding shift again, 45 degrees to create some more, and we'll just create a few more. And I just got this technique from videocopilot.net, and it's a nice way to um, create some nice lighting um, without the render time of a of like a skylight or something but I'm going to select this first light that's what all the other lights are instanced off of and go under the modify tab and intensity and just turn that down so we start to so it's not so blown out that looks good and then I'm just gonna um, make some copies behind it I think I'm just gonna change that to copy and if I then uh, that way I can do these independently um, really have any fall off that I know of but anyways um, now if we just I'm gonna create a quick camera move the target down here by the way that was just with control C that I created a camera in the perspective viewport um, and just frame this up and then I'm going to do a quick render of this and as we can start to see we have a really nice metallic look um, with the reflections of you know the lights we created which we're kind of getting some awkward reflections just due to the amount of lights that I created but um, I think this template has been changed in version 2010 over the 2009 version that I was using but I think the results look a lot nicer and we see the beveled edges really catch the light nicely and it just looks pretty cool um, so there you have it that was just a really quick tutorial and just I didn't say that you'd want to change the lighting around and get something that looks better but I'm not going to talk about that because I'm sure there's a million other tutorials on that. So um, anyway, and to create the, the look from the film where the text came in the frame, as I, I just set the target of the camera somewhere about right here at the bottom of the text. Move the camera down. And then if you watch in the from the camera's point of view, I just animated it from somewhere around there till about there and um, rendered that out. Um, but anyways, um, thanks for watching. I hope that was uh, helpful. And um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below, and I'll be I'll try to help you out if I can. Thanks.